In this first set of shots on an overcast day in Chicago, you'll see that all three OnePlus T models are capable of taking a pretty good photo. The OnePlus 6T here is the brightest of the set, effectively changing the overall color compared to the other two. You can see the brickwork is a little lighter, the shadows are pushed up to get a little more visible detail, and at 100% crop that detail is apparent. Look at how much more can be seen on the 6T, especially compared to the 5T, where everything looks smoothed out and has that watercolor effect that I've mentioned in previous videos. And while the 3T still does a decent job here, it's a little darker, a little soft, and just doesn't hold the clarity like the 6T. In the second set of shots, the biggest thing that stands out to me is how much more contrast the 5T has over the others. It really dials in that saturation with its blues and oranges and yellows, making everything pop, while the OnePlus 3T and OnePlus 6T offer more of a natural shot. At 100% crop though, the 6T loses its detail here. The 3T and 5T still show the horizontal lines on the shirt, and even the white X's on the eyes are much more defined. Now that contrast and saturation can also come at a cost. In this set of shots, the 5T looks way overprocessed. The grass and the leaves are nowhere close to realistic, while the 6T here is able to hold its exposure in the sky without blowing it out, which leaves detail intact in the background and doesn't turn the leaves looking yellowish white on the ground. In this set of selfie shots, well, not really selfie, but in this set of shots with me in it, you can see how the 6T again handles the lighting throughout. The sky behind me is better exposed, being able to pull detail and shadows in the clouds, and the leaves on the tree offers much more clarity and detail than the other two. Now, as far as skin tone, the 3T leaves me looking really dark. The 5T much better, but my skin looks a bit smoothed out, and the 6T really pulls up the brightness and color in my face, leaving a really pleasant shot focusing on the subject. This is probably attributed to the 6T's new studio lighting feature that uses face detection to capture the shot, but I've only had limited time testing it out to be honest, so I can't give a final word on it yet. I did take a portrait shot with the 5T and 6T again just to test it out, and like previously, you can see it really brightens my face up. Kind of glowing even, if that makes sense. Which also might be a little weird, but no final word here yet, much more testing to do. Now again, with murals, or graffiti, or paintings, pretty much street art, it looks like the 5T continues to really punch in that color, with deeper blacks and higher contrast. And I'm not gonna lie, that's how I like these specific shots to look. This might be personal preference for you, but as far as overall color and detail, all three did really well, and I'd use any of them to post on Instagram. So here again, the 6T is the brightest of the set. The 5T is way too dark here, and the 3T is somewhere in between the two, but there's much more noise in the dark areas and doesn't hold the same clarity. And while the 6T gives you much more to see, the bikes, the shadows, underneath the bridge, the detail by this billboard, I'd love it if the 6T was able to just step its exposure a notch or two down. And in this last set of day shots, the 6T was able to finally produce a higher contrast, really color punchy street art shot. The 3T did a good job here, but again, just doesn't offer the same clarity of the 5T and 6T. As we head into night, all three did really well here, being able to expose the artificial light and balance the night sky, but as soon as I cropped to 100%, I noticed that while it might look good from afar, the 6T exhibited a lot of noise throughout, and while the 5T still continues its watercolor smoothing out effect, the 6T's detail is really muddled. Looking at the clock above, it just doesn't compare to the other two. Again, three decent shots here, but the 3T just doesn't hold the same kind of clarity as the 5T and 6T, especially at night. At 100% crop, the 6T exhibits less noise throughout and better detail in the parking signs. 
Same sentiments here. Good shots, but the 3T has a bit more lens flare than the 2. At 100% crop, the 3T shows more noise and again less clarity from its newer siblings. I did happen to take a shot using Nightscape just to see the difference between the two, and while Nightscape was able to lessen the blown out streetlight on the 6T and pull up shadows to see the buildings better in the back, it just leaves a lot to be desired. Everything just looks a little washed out. I still prefer the regular shot of the 6T here. First, don't judge me on my awful posing because I am not the most photogenic person in the world, but I do prefer the color temperature on the 3T and the 5T. The 3T again doesn't hold the same clarity as the 5T or 6T, but manages to still take a decent enough shot. And while I felt the 5T did a much better job, the 6T is able to brighten up an entire night shot, foreground and background but I wish the shot wasn't so yellow. This might be something you can fix in post if you really wanted to take the time to do so. And in really difficult lighting situations, the OnePlus 3T is the darkest of the set, losing visibility in the foreground, the leaves on the trees. The 5T, while brighter, again applies its watercolor effect here, smoothing everything out. It just looks so unnatural. And the 6T with the most clarity here, everything well exposed, good detail, and a good night shot for a difficult lighting situation. At 100% crop, you can see how the 6T really improves its camera in low light between the other two. I also did manage to take this shot using Nightscape, and while it wasn't a world's difference, the color temperature is slightly better, with a hint more detail. Using Nightscape here did a lot better than in the last example I provided, so if you have the two seconds to spare and try it out, I'd try for a night shot in regular mode, and then again in Nightscape to see the results for yourself. It's really nice to see the OnePlus 3T still hold its own two years later. It might be showing its age compared to the 5T and 6T, but it's definitely a competent shooter. I feel like the 5T and 6T are are pretty comparable in a lot of instances, even a year later, but both have their pros and cons and I think a lot of this still lies in its software, not its hardware. When I used the Gcam port for the OnePlus 6, I preferred its results much more than the stock camera app during the day. If you haven't seen that video, I'll throw a card up, it's definitely worth a watch to see how software really makes a difference. This is something I'll probably try with the 6T as well and maybe even my older OnePlus phones. At the end of the day, there's definitely an improvement with the 6T, maybe not in all departments, but with the addition of Nightscape and studio lighting, these might give it a little more edge than the 5T. Still, I feel a good portion of this can come down to personal preference, and I'm just here to state the facts while giving you a little bit of my opinion. <laughs>